The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Mr. Speaker, I also rise today to acknowledge World Autism Awareness Day. I am so pleased to see the attention that autism awareness, supports, and first voice concerns are receiving. Due to the diligent efforts of Autism Nova Scotia and the families that they represent, including the Sutherland family, who have been very public with their plight to secure appropriate resources to support their son, Callum, the public consciousness is slowly being raised about the particular realities of children, adults, and families living with autism. As the proud aunt of a beautiful eight-year-old autistic boy whose parents are fierce advocates, I'm all too aware of how far we have to go to ensure that autistic individuals are able to fully participate in their schools, communities, and workplaces. I take solace in the hard work of advocates, especially those first voice advocates who are speaking with a louder voice than ever before about what it means to be autistic. Mr. Speaker, I urge all members of this House to open their ears and hearts to the truths being <coughs> spoken by First Voices, families, advocates and experts, and to let them guide our actions. We and all orders of government still have a long way to go.